It's been a very sad week for first responders here in Arizona. On Sunday, Phoenix Police Officer Daryl Rates was fatally hit while investigating a possible DUI incident. Yeah, and now today, his fellow officers are showing support to the fallen officer's family. Tess Raffles is live, and officers have shown up to a graduation test. Exactly. We're here at Ridgeline Elementary. I want you to, to picture this, okay? There's this long sidewalk here behind me. Imagine being five years old and losing your father. But his fellow brothers on the Phoenix Police Force have lined this entire sidewalk all the way to the flag where it is at half staff clapping for her. And that's exactly what little Tatum did when she came arrived this morning here at her graduation ceremony. Officer James Holmes is here. I, I'm going to try and get through this to, and not break down, but I, you described this scene for me and I just cannot even imagine. You know, it's pretty amazing. And, you know, I, I've seen wonderful things uh, when it comes to uh, the loss of a police officer and the support uh, that that officer gets from the community. But one thing we learned on Wednesday was that uh, little Tatum was graduating uh, from the academy here today uh, at nine o'clock and uh, officers wanted to come up here and they wanted to support her we know uh, unfortunately that Daryl can't be here uh, but she had three four hundred parents wow. uh, up here for her this morning it was absolutely amazing it was bittersweet and it was a bit o overwhelming for all of us you know you guys always talk about that brotherhood we obviously see it unfortunately when there is a funeral but for something like this and literally uh the road just filled with police officers uh police uh, cars vehicles as well as uh, motorcycles what does it mean for an officer to be here to be for a fellow officer's family you know i'll tell you what it means Tess. we tried to keep this small we tried to keep this to uh daryl squad and his precinct um but the word got out that this was happening and it went viral within the department and there was absolutely no way that you could keep officers who could be here away from here. They came uh, even with their families. Uh, one thing I do want to say though is, is Ridgeline has been great. Uh, the parents up here have been really great and supportive of us. Uh, we've interrupted, if you will, their graduation ceremony and, and they allowed us to do that and they took pictures and they congratulated uh, Tatum as she walked down these officers sometimes too deep uh, on this sidewalk. It's important to us and it's important that Stephanie and Tatum and their entire family know um, that we are all, every one of us here for them. Well, I bet you they feel the love today, that is for sure. Officer James Holmes, thank you so much for giving us some insight as to what this day means to the Phoenix Police Department, to the community, and more importantly, you know, a five-year-old Tatum knows her dad is gone, may not really understand the depth of what this is, but imagine having that memory of walking down uh, between a couple of hundred officers at the very least, clapping for you, saying congratulations. Mm -hmm. She uh, tried to hold up her composure, according to Officer Holmes. She never really cried, and she walked sometimes smiling and uh, just very thankful she had flowers in her hands 